They're the one. Written by Writing in Bra. On Tumblr. Kaminari definitely was a light drinker, even if he really enjoyed drinking with his friends, or even better, with you, and he got drunk pretty often. But tonight he was completely wasted. Drunk Kaminari was an overload of stupid ideas that never ended well, but he meant them with the purest intentions. He was chaotic good, after all. But tonight was different. Something with the boy was different. He was quiet, blankly staring at the bartender as Kirishima was asking him if everything was alright, with Sarah already typing Shinso and Mina a message telling them not to come as the two were starting to get worried. Just before Sarah was heading outside to end the night, Kaminari started to speak. Guys... My dudes, you know I love you. Dude, you're wasted. You need to get home. Kirishima said, not really paying attention to his friends' words. <sighs> Better call a cab, the angry blonde said, clearly annoyed by his friends' lame alcohol endurance. Traveler. Oh... Aren't they the most beautiful person you've ever seen? <sighs> he missed you. Because of his hero work, his schedule was always so busy that he barely had the time to eat or sleep, and you two living so far from one another wasn't helping at all since you haven't seen each other for about two months now. He was feeling lost without you by his side, and out of nowhere started to sob, mumbling about how much he missed you. Oh, when you looked at him with those puppy dog eyes before he left. What did you expect? Remembering the memories of your hands around his neck, his heart started to tremble, still loving you as much as he did the first time he saw you. Or he did last time, he checked. But he couldn't live like this forever, remembering you crying just as he left. Every time he saw you, it seemed like once again you've had to greet him with... Goodbye. Bro, bro! There's no need to cry! Everyone's fight. Kirishima was brusquely interrupted. Even though he really was trying his best to comfort his friend, he knew nothing about your relationship. His love for you and all the things Kaminari kept secret to not make his friends as sad as he was. He wanted to feel you in his arms, wanted to be your home, and feel your warm body next to his with your hands wandering on his back. No, no I'm not. I can't help but want them with me every single moment. Every morning I want to wake up at, with the sight of them sleeping by my side. Every night I want to fall asleep with them in my arms. Kaminari's voice gradually grew louder and louder until he realized and tried to calm his nerves down. His three friends kept silent, encouraging him to let it all out. Yeah, I mean, I would have never in my life imagined that I could depend so much on someone else's smile. Sometimes, uh, I wonder if I will ever be able to give them the life they deserve. Or if I'll ever be able to make them happy as much as they make me. Kaminari began to feel calmer, glad that they were seriously listening to him this time round. You know guys, when I was a kid I've always thought of the universe as something infinite, untouchable and unattainable. But since I've fallen in love with them, i found my universe. They are... They're so important that even the thought of losing them takes my breath away. Tell me, please, how should I deal with my feelings? How do I not make them feel pressed? They were speechless. Who would have ever imagined that Kaminari, their lifelong friend who was always smiling, acting like everything's fine, carried all this burden alone? 
Suddenly, frightfully, the dumb childlike Kaminari disappeared. Kirishima started to tell him how manly he was, and out of all the things he was saying, Bakugo found himself agreeing about telling Traveler all that he said to them. Tell them, dumbass. Huh? What are you even saying? Just tell them how you feel, you stupid asswipe! He spat as he was taking a sip of his beer. Sero took word after contemplating his opinion about this mess. I mean, Bakugo and Kirishima are right, Kaminari. You better solve this as soon as you can. Ask them to move to your place. Or just propose to them. Kaminari slowly nodded and took out his phone. His hands were shaking. Don't ask them to marry you over the phone, asshole. Do you have to scream at me like that? I'm not emotionally stable right now, so you better- Shut the fuck, your stupid face makes me want to scream. Kirishima tried to calm down his two friends, while Sero took mental note to not drink with them ever again. <laughs>